Hello everybody, this is Kevin back with Inspiring How You See That. So we're back again with DaVinci Resolve. And we had a question about blending music within your, um, your video that you did. As far as when I say blending, the question was, was you have some music and you don't want it to start off super, super loud. And you want to kind of have it come in quiet and then go into, you know, get, get progressively get louder. Um, there's a few different things that you want to make sure of. And you can see on our screen here, we do have a music clip below. Um, we have some symphonic metal music um, that uh, we have placed into this video. <laughs> so we have some symphonic uh, metal music that we have placed into this video. And you'll see here below, um, first, you want to get your setting right. So you'll go into the audio and if you want to turn it up or down, you'll see um, we always like to have the EQ bar where you can actually see it. And we can talk about that in other segments if you have questions about that. Um, but let's say you wanted to transition a video here from, you know, it's super loud. You can see the EQs here and you want to turn it down maybe a little bit. But you also want to start off um, slower and go, you know, at, at, you see it's higher here and you wanted to have it start off, you know, go into slow to loud basically what you want to do um there's an effect up here and i'll switch over to that screen and show you that effect and we'll go over to that screen now okay so we are over to that screen now where it says the you know you have video transitions and the audio transitions um so we are highlighted in within that spot within your video segment as we uh, showed in the, the other screen, you want to click on your audio transitions and you see these here. Um, it'll say crossfade plus three. You can actually turn these up, turn them down. Um, if we can get into that, another feature if you if you have questions on how to turn those up or down or you don't know how to do that. Um, or there's one that just zero, it just kind of blends, you know, very quickly. Um, but you would just want to cross, you know, highlight this, drag it over. As you see, I have it highlighted. And when you, if you, and this is where the split screens come into help a lot. You can just pull it over to your other screen and put it right down into that uh, the timeline, which I'm gonna do now. You guys can't see that, so I'm gonna drag it over and put it in the timeline, and then I'm gonna go into the timeline in the other screen again and switch over to that so you can see it. Okay, so now you can see it dragged over into our timeline here. And again, make sure it's not on the video itself. It has to be on your audio timeline. It won't work if you drag it over and try to put it on your video. Um, so as you see, we have it on our audio and you can see where it transitions higher and then goes lower. But you can set that if you want to go from lower to higher, higher to lower. And you can always pull these as far as they will go um, into the music transition as far as how you want it to transition. Um, it, it's a pretty cool setting, you know, within your, your sound. Now you can do from one side to the other side, but that's how you crossfade music. Um, we've talked about crossfading videos and stuff, but this is how you do music. If you, if you have questions about crossfading videos, let us know. There's several options within that, not only the free program, but the paid program. Um, but put in the comments below if there's something else you're looking for, something else we can help you out with. Until then, we'll see you on the next video.